the R&D journey is an exciting and very rewarding experience. Research and academic careers, they require a lifelong effort to get to the top. Science is an expression of our inherent desire to know our reality and to improve it. Curiosity is a fundamental human nature. It's a gift to pursue your curiosity. You have to be willing to go out and explore, even if it ends up failing. I believe human genetics will play the major role in the development of precision medicine. Asian population are very much understudied, and if this is not being overcome, they will limit our ability to enjoy the full benefit of precision medicine. We recruit 5,000 Singaporeans, perform the whole genome sequencing, and were able to capture 80% genetic diversity of Asian population. Through this effort, we discovered the genetic determinant of DHS. DHS is a very severe adverse drug reaction due to the deficit treatment, commonly used to treat leprosy. I co-founded a startup company to translate this discovery to clinical testing that has been now evaluated for national screening program in Indonesia. Asia is my root. I grew up here. I want to contribute to this community. I want to study genetics of Asian population. My dream is to be able to sequence in every Singaporean so that everyone can enjoy the benefit of precision medicine. Photonics is everywhere, from telecommunication to energy conversion. Our work is in nanophotonics, which is the science of controlling light at the nanoscale. Topological nanophotonics is a new area of nanophotonics in which we borrow ideas from theoretical physics to design light waves that have unprecedented properties. We've been able to overcome some delusions in the science of light, such as light cannot bend around sharp corners. Another breakthrough is that we can utilize topology of light to focus light into one spot, much smaller than one wavelength. We have developed some of the most groundbreaking practical applications of topological nanophotonics to date. Our group were foundational members in topological nanophotonics. We are internationally leading in this research field. Modern challenges in science require considerable and very diverse skill set. Fostering collaborations was the main driver in forming the Center of Disruptive Photonic Technologies. It is uh, really very satisfying to witness the creation of the new research discipline to the stage when it makes a technological impact. Well, I've been working for more than 20 years in the field of immunotherapy. The most common form of cancer in children is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The discovery was to develop a receptor that works as an antenna that sends when a leukemic cell is around and activate the immune cell to kill that leukemic cell. And these cells are called CAR T cells. Together with Prof. Alan Yeo, we felt that the technology was mature enough to administer it to patients, and one of these, the first patient, was Chris Cavin. The result was really extraordinary because he achieved remission very rapidly and he has been in remission now for more than three years. The most rewarding aspect of our research, without doubt, is to know that our ideas and our work in the laboratory can directly benefit patients. So in 2000, Singapore started its journey to become a biomedical hub for Asia. So when I came to Singapore, my first focus was really building Duke NUS and creating a next generation of physician scientists. So we started out by deconstructing the curriculum from Duke and recreating it on the ground. It turned out to be a very valuable approach and one that has been adopted by many institutions around the globe. The second part of the journey was to develop the Sing Health Duke NUS Academic Medical Center. More than a thousand plus physicians are now part of this entity and they are playing a critical role in shaping healthcare for the future in Singapore. It's a gratification of seeing the next generation coming to bloom and doing really well. 
the many institutes that have been created are truly global in impact and envied by many institutions around the world. As a scientific and technologically based nation, Singapore has a cutting edge over many countries. I think that Singapore is possibly one of the best places in the world to be a scientist. There's no barrier in connecting to the whole world, and it is keen to attract talents from all countries. It's my dream to study Asia, to help to contribute to this community. And I am very happy that you have chosen to give me the award. But more than the award, it is actually the reward of having had an opportunity to work in Singapore. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it turned out to be the best thing that I could have done.